All right, hey everybody. It is January 5th and I'm out here on the West Branch Delaware River. I'm at the uh, Pennsylvania Game Land section. I actually just had really good timing here right as I was pulling in. They had just finished plowing this lot. So looks like they got a little bit more snow down here over the last week or so. Anyway, uh, conditions look pretty decent. There's a little bit of a light snow right now. Uh, raining mostly when I was coming down, but I'd much rather have this little snow, so that's cool. And uh, the river flows are up a little bit from last week. Uh, the flows at Hale Eddy, I think, are around 900. Water looked relatively clear going over the bridge there, so should be decent conditions. I have never fished uh, the West Branch this time of year, never in the winter months, so this is totally new for me. So I'm really hoping to get into a fish or two to make a cool video for you guys to enjoy but uh otherwise this is going to be i think a really enjoyable january day the temps are in the low 30s and uh very mild wind it's foggy it's a really pretty cloudy day so really really excited to get down to the river and hopefully get into some fish we'll see what happens Alright, well I'm down at the river. Uh, I have never fished this section. I'm going to fish up around these islands here, look for any kind of pockets, little seams, some depth. Um, see what we find. I'm really excited though. I'm hoping to uh, get into a fish or two here. We'll see what happens. Right. Custom 9 foot 5 weight. It's a much fuller flex, slower rod. Small split shot, glow bug, and then uh, another pheasant tail, beadhead pheasant tail flashback so I'm gonna work my way out below this island here see what happens I just wish I knew these this water a little better just not real confident where they're gonna be even though knowing this river they'll be pretty much everywhere but I don't... Well, there's a little current seam here see if anything happens all right well this dead I'm gonna move through this dead slack water here this is probably like the best spot fish are just flying around oh there we go there we go ha yes fish on nice fish Nice fish. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Heck yeah. Yeah, baby. That is a good fish. Stay on there, Bubba. Stay on there. He's on the pheasant tail. Oh, he's running. Oh, that's a big one. Come on, buddy. No, come back here. No, 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 no. Stay under. You're okay. Oh, my heart is a pounding. That is a good fish. That is looking like a nice big brown. Let's see if we can get him right back down here. Come on, Mr. Brownie. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah! I did not know if I was going to catch anything today. That is awesome. That is awesome. Wow. Holy moly. Look at that. Got him hooked just on the corner of the mouth there. Just gonna take my gloves off so you don't get soaked. All right. Wow, that is a big fish. 
That is a nice size brown. Look at that fish. Skinny fish. Wow, look how skinny he is. But the length. All right. I'm going to take one really, really quick picture of this guy and then let him go. All right, we'll let this guy go. Come here, buddy. All right. All right, man. That makes my day. That was a super skinny but long brown. First time out here in winter conditions. Honestly, I thought to myself, if I catch one fish today, I'm going to be a happy guy. So I'm a happy guy, and uh, I'm super excited to get back out there and see if we can catch some more. Yeah. I'm normally an indicator guy, but watching a lot of Scott's videos online from PA Woods and Water, um, which is a really good site to, uh, to learn a lot of these Pennsylvania streams as well as the, the Delaware system. But, um, but yeah, Scott does a lot of this, his own style of nymphing, but it's um, without an indicator. And he's very effective, so I'm trying to mimic it a little bit. I mean, I know he's got a different setup than I'm running, but just the indicator list. And also the glow bug, he's a big fan of that. But yeah, big shout out to him, because after watching a couple of his videos coming down here he got me off my butt to come down and give it a go I'll put a link down to his channel in the description alright to me this is looking like the best water I've been on so far I really like the look of this. Drops off a little bit here. There's some depth. You've got this shallower riffle up above. And then you, so you got this kind of in between right here. At the head of this pool. This is a pretty cool spot. I'm going to fish this pretty thoroughly, I think. There we go, fish on. Oh, that was a decent one. Yeah, I could just tell this is a good spot right here. That fish hit right at the tail end. He probably hit the pheasant tail and popped off, but that was a decent fish. Oh, there we go. Fish. There we go. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. bummer. Oh, right up on that seam. That was another good fish. I mean, the last two weren't as big as that first one, but... That felt like a 15, 16 incher. All right, well, it's around 12.30, I think. And uh, been doing pretty good. Got that one nice big brown. Lost a couple nice fish. And uh, really didn't work that much water. Just worked a couple sections, so. I'm gonna head back right now to my car. It's not real far. And uh, I'm going to grab a bite to eat, drink some coffee, and uh, gear back up. And it's a great day. We'll see how part two comes out. All right, I am back. I'm all coffeeed up, had some food, switched coats, had a nice dry coat on. Um, yeah, nice and toasty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fish that same stretch again where I hooked to, and then uh, and then head upstream a bit.
Oh yeah, fish, fish. I haven't caught a fish in so long, I wasn't ready. Whew, I was half asleep. Don't lose him, don't lose him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's a good fish. Yeah! All right! Man, I was starting to lose, uh, starting to lose hope there. All right, that is the fish of the day right there. Nice, healthy brown. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Whew! I was daydreaming. I just had fished so much water that just did not seem to hold fish, and then I was walking back towards where I started and uh, I noticed that this pool or riffle, I guess it's a big slow riffle, but I noticed it got some depth to it and started fishing it and boom, a few casts and there you go. Alright, let's let this guy go. There you go. Whew. All right, man. I was losing. I was losing hope, but another nice fish. Skinny, skinny browns all spawned out, but that one was a little healthier than the last. So, yeah, baby, persistence. I think I'm gonna fish this spot a little more. It's getting pretty late. Three thirty, I think, and uh, I'm pretty much back where I started here. I'm just gonna go through and fish this one more time. I'm gonna try an indicator just to see. I've made myself not use an indicator all day. I almost, I generally use an indicator, so. It's been a pretty successful uh, experiment though, but I just wanna try with the, with the old bobber. And uh, don't know the name of this fly, but just looks real buggy, so I picked this guy out and just gonna keep dropping that little pheasant tail off of that. And, Give this a try and then we'll call it a day. I'm really not fishing that different with the indicator. It just gives me a little bit more of a visual. There we go. Fish on. Whoa! Ho, ho. That is a nice brown. Wow. All right. Let's not lose this guy. That is a big fish. No, no, no. Oh, come on, buddy. Wow, he is holding right to the bottom. This is a nice fish. I would like to land him. Stay down, buddy. Stay down. Oh, 
Oh boy. Wow. That's a big fish. Oh. <laughs> yes. I can't believe that. Wow, that is a healthy fish. And he took that big fly. There we go. All right, man. What a fish. What a fish. Ah, look at this guy. Look at this brown. Oh, what a nice brown. That is a nice fish. Look at him. It's almost got a aqua blue on his head. Man. What a day. What an awesome fish. All right, you ready? Go for it, my friend. All right. What a fish. Yeah, baby. West Branch in the winter. I think I love it.